Hello, I'm Pat Walters, and this is the role of informatics in optimizing oral drug candidates as part of the Good Oral Candidates 101. So today, to give you an overview of a little bit of what I want to talk about, I'd like to tell you some of the ways that chemical informatics or cheminformatics can be used throughout the course of a drug discovery program to promote and facilitate the optimization effort. So I'm going to start out with a brief introduction to cheminformatics and tell you a little bit about what it is and why we want to use cheminformatics. From there, I want to go into talking a little bit about predictive models, because predictive models are really the key to the use of cheminformatics in an optimization effort. Then I want to tell you about another approach where we can also use existing data, both data that we have internally within, let's say, a pharmaceutical company, or data that we have from the literature or literature databases to facilitate our optimization. And then finally, I'll finish with a brief survey of a few of the available methods and some references. So what I'd like you to come away with today is a basic overview of cheminformatics and what cheminformatics is and how it can be applied in a drug discovery setting. Now, I don't expect you to walk away from this being an expert in cheminformatics, but I would like it if you would be more of an informed consumer of these methods. And I think in order to do that, it's important to understand how some of these methods work, because I think if you understand how they work under the hood, the real mechanics of this, you can understand not only the methods, but where you should apply them and where you should not apply them. And then we'll finish by taking a look at some of the places that cheminformatics has been applied 